All right, it's media day. We're talking 11 6 8. It's our last district before the season gets kick started. And we're joined by Coach Carlos Lynn of Cedar Hill. Coach, man, what a magical season last year. You guys swooped up through Division II, went through some, a bunch of play, a bunch of close playoff games, and made yourself uh, a state title finalist. Talk about how glorifying that was for you to get to that state title game after, you know, the first coach since Joey Mack had done it. And, and talk about what you think about your chances this year of doing something similar. Uh, you know, it was definitely a uh, definitely a blessing. You know, we uh, had a great team, had a good group of uh, seniors that uh, that led the team the whole way, and uh, we, you know, had some had some balls to bounce our way. And I think sometimes, you know, to get that to get that far, you got to have some good fortune as well. Um, you know, this year we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, we definitely have some big shoes and holes to fill, um, but I think we have, we're up for the challenge. We got a good 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 a uh, group of young men that's, that's been working hard all, all season, all summer to prepare. So I think uh, we'll, we'll have a fighter's chance to try to get back there. Now, you you mentioned it just now. you got a lot to replace, especially at skill position. Uh, at the skill positions, a lot of coaches kind of thrive on that, though. Are you kind of thriving on the fact that, hey, uh, people may overlook us because we have so much to replace, but they don't know about this guy and this guy that's been waiting in the wings to do their thing? Well, yeah, you know that's 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 the life of a coach in Cedar Hill, Texas. You know, you you always have uh, somebody waiting in the wings, and uh, you know we we've, we've always had good players that uh, they they jumped on the scene and, and and did some outstanding things with you know with a, with a, with one year's worth of of film, and uh, that's just that's just how they have to operate, just because we're such senior heavy team. So we're excited about unveiling some of the new new names that's going to be out there for Cedar Hill. I was going to say, is there any, any names that you want to bring bring up right now? Because unlike last year, you actually had some spring ball and some, you know, you can see them in workouts instead of just, you know, watching on Zoom and saying, hey, I hope you're working out because I can't see you around here. But this year you got your eyes on them. Any kind of players that kind of stood out that you'd like to, to put some shine on? Well, yeah, of course, the big the big three would be, you know, Jalen Peoples at corner who committed to Kansas. Uh, <clears throat> Sincere Massive, I'm a defensive tackle. He's committed to uh, Arizona State. Then my uh, big DN, uh, Harvey Dyson. He's uh, probably going to be committing somewhere here pretty pretty quick. And those are the big three, and you know we you know we have some 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 up and comers. You know Cedric Harden Jr. being be a quarterback, very very athletic kid, going to make some make some big plays. Uh, Robert Richardson and Jalen Jalen Jenkins. And running back, it's gonna be gonna be outstanding. So, I mean, I could go on. It's a large list of just great kids that uh that we feel like is gonna make a make make be be some household names around here. Yeah, you look at this district and you see a, a lot of big time defenses. It may be a little bit different than when we saw in eleven six eight games in the past, whereas it may be a low scoring game. You may have to pull one out seventeen ten something like that. It during the non district schedule is that something that you're going to kind of harp on hey let's let the defense hold us into the game while the offense tries to catch up a little bit well and that's kind of the natural uh ebb and flow of, of football offenses uh tend to lag defenses tend to thrive early um and we we typically have you know uh been able been able to score the ball early so uh and put ourselves in position and that's just due to our um Coordinators doing a good job game planning and, and, and figuring some folks out. So it'll be a good chess match nonetheless. You know, we have some great coaching in this area, and uh, you definitely have to be prepared and, and ready to go if you're going to be successful. It's something that's a uh, stalemate for you top three guys in 11 6 A's that you schedule some quality teams in the non district. Talked about some of your games that you have in the non district, in, including starting off with Rockwell. Yeah, uh, of, of course, uh, the school that has been, uh, you know, uh, deep in the playoffs, uh, <clears throat> got a, a Division One quarterback, they can sling the ball all, all over the field. It's going to be a real, real big challenge for us uh, for, for week one, getting getting, uh, getting Rockwell. Uh, Coach Brooks does a great job with those kids, and, and they're, they're working. I, I'm seeing some of the stuff they're posting on social media, working hard in the summer. So uh, they're, they're going to be ready. Uh, going to be our home opener. Uh, going to be exciting to kind of maybe see some fans in the stands and 
you know, for the first time in a long time. So it's going to be a good good matchup. In week two, we have Arlington High. You know, Scott Peach, you know, the teams are always in the playoffs. Teams are always well coached at Arlington. Um, you know, I think they uh, kind of had a defensive the defense coordinator got a job, so the defense be a little bit different. So that's going to be a challenge. And, of course, our first away game will be in Allen, Texas. So uh, get, a guy, get a chance to go up there and bump heads with, with Coach Marsh and his crew. I know they're going to be well coached. know they're going to be disciplined and doing things right. So that's going to be a real good test for us early with those three teams. Finally, let's talk a little bit about the district. Uh, it's, I mean, whether you want to, you're, you're obviously going to not take every team, you're going to take every team with uh, as, as whatever you got, but in 11 6 it's going to look like the three, you know, South da Dallas uh, corridor right there with the Duncanville, DeSoto, and you guys. Talk about how you feel the district's going to kind of play out and, and, and and who might be the most dangerous coming out of that one? You know, uh, you, you you always have to put Duncanville at the top of the list. You know, they have some huge human beings, you know, up front on both on both sides of the ball. And they're always a challenge to uh, try to move them move them around up up front. You know, DeSoto has you know got skilled guys out the you know out the wazoo. Uh, just trying to slow them down and, and, and keep them from being as explosive is always a challenge. Um, I think the I think the, the, the surprise of the bunch is probably going to be Waxahachie. I think Waxahachie, you know, uh, <clears throat> under Coach Tollison, uh, will reveal, you know, some of the talent and some of the things they've had and, uh, and, and, and the mental attitude and challenge that he's putting on them and the expectations that he's putting on them is going to be uh, – Going to be going to be pretty pretty dynamic. Uh, I'm really I'm really not sure of uh, Waco and Waco Midway. Not really familiar uh, with those with those with those coaches. And I know Coach Thor and uh, Lake Ridge will be will be ready be ready to rock and roll. And okay, you know Coach Gregory at uh, Mansfield. Those guys. You know, uh, they they kind of they kind of fell a little short last year, right there towards the end. They'll be making a good they'll be making a good push as well. I um, mean, our district is loaded with talent, loaded with great coaching. So, uh, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be some great fights on Friday night. That's awesome, and it, it starts up less than two weeks. I can't wait to for get back out at, at it. And I appreciate you joining us, uh, joining us on here, and have a great season, Coach. Thank you. I appreciate it.